see how you get back into Radiant this game if you don't. Scanning. Full Scotty now for the Slark. Look at this lane work. I see how oh, The book is just gone. And maybe more Saxa. He's ever getting a regular connection onto North. Money, Money gets the BKB off. He's trying to run, but Skinner's chasing him down. Money's out of the game. So is XXS. Neither with buyback. The two supports done as well. They've got buybacks themselves. It's, over, but it's a wow. dieback from the bunker. GG is called. Tundra will take game two. And with that, this year as well, there too. Uh, saw him in the fight. He got a little bit deep on the Spirit Breaker, but he manages to jump on in. And part of that was that, again, the illusions got purged instantly uh, from K1. No BKB. Bill Scepter in some trouble. Tries to turn, tries to get him out. Requiem of Souls going to get some separation. And K1 comes in, wants to clean up. No ulti available. He's dead. Now, ZinQ looking for a bash. Not able to find it. No bash, but they do get the stun. Stinger, the stun! Oh, Stinger! You saved his life! ZinQ brought down! They saved the region! It's going to be skimmed down at the bot side of the rune that does actually pick up the double damage. So he just gets away with it, just completely denying it off from nothing to say. And just a great way of slowing down the Kunkka, not allowing any rotations. Though, as I say that, they may just run mid. Arena is down defensively. Can they take him down? It's a lot of damage flying out in Sing Q. He'll still land the cookie through the arena just on the outer edge. They just hold him down, but now nothing to say. He could be in danger. Tims and Skim getting to work. The double damage actually doing a hell of a lot of work, but Sing Q, he shows up again. They find another. It's Tims. Can he run now? Sing Q really chasing far. Very nice cookie and a triple kill out for Sing Q. Oh, it's that aggression we talked about. Okay. They are going to move in. Oh, it's a 5v5 smoke situation here game and they're gonna move in smoke broken onto ace tofu he'll get started the kisses immediately as the global silence is there on slowdown as well they do find genuine but that's only the plus five undying in fact never mind they found jabs now ace moving right in onto our melbourne a hook shot oh. dj he'll save the day for now the tombstone is gonna be dropped as well genuine he pulled back into this team fight and now Duraccio. he's in big trouble he's gonna drop Oh, they go too far in the end. A very nice buyback there from Januel just to be able to rejoin the team fight and drop the tombstone. In fact, they just keep going. Assassinate out of the tofu into the stun now as well. Soul rip out. Tofu's in trouble. He'll try to run, but eventually does end up dropping. Raven able to secure the team fights instead of following up Rezos. Too many things to think about here for Thunder. One ward gets placed, one hero gets spotted. Ooh, Ooh the wave Gotta charges. The cause jumps in, jumps out. Dark Mago pops his BKB. They get a decent initiation with the Crystal Maiden oh, on top oh. of that thing. So the Sapphire, they're doing lots of damage. The BKBs, though, are allowing them to persevere. Because turning into the Drow Ranger has to keep they his distance from Resolution. The badges are too much. He needs to get on top of the Drow Ranger, but he turns into stone form. Zayas saving the Drow, kicks him across. Because on the hunt has to wait for him forward. He desperately wants to kill for the man to dodge. Another hit miss. The down heck? the side. Now they're trying to run, and there it is. Because gets GG. blown up, and immediately the GG is called. More room to breathe. They've got their own ags up now in Matu. So uh, the punch is kind of ready to go if they find something here. Oh, hook shot in. Very, very nice from Fishman. Finding the angle, but there's Insania. Let's get the cookie away. They turn this one around. No, that's a big avalanche up from Kataomi. But where's your follow up? In comes Pure. He's got the double damage. That's like gone. We find more. Snowball in, Foxy has no choice of the matter, he's going to go down, Kisses are still going, but Pure, he jukes them out for now, they just don't have any more follow-up, in the meantime, they do at least find Toby, in they go again though, Insania, he's being targeted, and he'll be the third target to go down for the side of Liquid. Really want here. So many ways of getting that vision in the pit here for Entity. Now even a nullifier out on Pure, it's going to make life even more challenging for the side of RNG. Luckily for them, at the very least, the bot lane is not being forced in any longer. So they don't have to worry about that for now. But what they do have to worry about is this four-man smoke up from the side of Entity. So they do wrap around that mid-river area, trying to make their way over to that Radiant Triangle. Ghost is going to show himself. Fisher is committed, just in the familiar. He's trying to burst them down, but Ghost, he does get caught out. Ice Blast and a big avalanche is out. Katomi setting up perfect. Chalice is in big trouble here on the Underlord. He might just drop and does. Meanwhile, Alex Nova getting chased down, but will be left alone. So instead, they'll go after Kaka on the Earthshaker. That'll be another as Ghost now. It's completely surrounded. How does he survive this one? It doesn't seem like he can, though. Chalice does try to move in, but it's not in time. They are falling like flies here, the side of RNG. 
As Entity, they will just keep moving forward. Somnus still trying to fight. Does go man up against Pure. In fact, that's a lot of damage from Somnus. He's got one down and another. He's found Pure on the Lycan. Somehow RNG. A Fiend's Gate for any aggressive movement out. More defensive, but they'll get to it. Their away about goes, just gonna get right to work. The box tier 3 tower already gone. Bottom racks, not gonna last long either. Kanaomi is gonna jump in though. Avalanche tosses out, Ghost is in big trouble. He got Sans and he will go down the first time. But he's got the Aegis, he's got the refresh, he's still got the initial oh, better, but the Sans is there with a nullifier! Oh my god! Oh, Ghost is gone! And the rest of RNG, they need a way out of this team fight. Chalice just leaves, but he's left by himself. Somnus needs to TP on the tree line. With the BKB, is gonna be alright. But they've got Ghost down. 17, what the hell? Remember his start? Yes, That's level okay. 2 at like 7 and a half yeah, minutes. That's a good recovery. Oh, gets oh, the Carapace! Nice. Very good initiation, but Jin is there with the Avalanche. Will it be enough? No! Nothing to say goes down to another member of Secret. That Starbreaker has been deleting heroes, and of course you've said it time and time again. As long again. as he gets to play the fight on the MK. Look how much they're covering him. It's like... Resolution with the double damage, oh, by the way. Nothing to say is dead. And a stun onto several heroes. Now two dead for LGD to just start out the fight. Another Starbreaker, but now Crystals and company outside the Wukong's command. The glimpse back onto Faith Beyond, and he is dead. Triple kill for Resolution. There are all buybacks available for LGD, so she could have to be a bit careful with this. And why? He's going to die inside his own base. He's the one lone member of LGD without the buyback at the moment. So 12k lead for Secret. Oh, what? Someone got one. I saw they're celebrating. Nice. Good job. <laughs> As uh, Matumbo Man is also going to get a little bit of pressure there on XXS and the pullback. Boxy ready to dispose and finds the body blocks. This Pango in trouble. This is one of those heroes that really can get uh, completely abused. We'll see. Toby's going to frontline here on the Undying. Doesn't really want to take too much damage from this Lena, so it does seem like he might back off as Insania. Oh, that's going to be a nice shot. He's trapped three of him in there. Boxy with the perfect position. Oh, Toby's going to give away first blood, and that's a dangerous point to play. A lot more, and once that man is gone, he can't harass like Lena does. What about this top lane, boys? I mean, you've got Zai on that 100% win rate Enigma with Boxy on that pos four slaughter, and they get a very nice Ooh. shards off to block them in by the T1 tower, but it... Ooh, can they punish Pure? He's taking a fair bit of damage here on think that T1. Fishman, he's going to try and have a run here. Pure still dropping very low as Zai. He'll change them down, trapples down to try and slow them up. Who are they going for? Pure, he's the one in danger. Boxy, has he got the shards? Oh, he's got it in one second. He should have the angle. Oh, he does pure. He's trapped up. Have you seen that before? The shards block on the T1 tower. I've never seen that. In that fact, was so cool. <laughs> oh, she actually put the cars as well, changing it up. Look at it. The amp up the damage. Go for the silver edge. Okay, cool. Look at that. Toss back here onto Nightfall in the mid. Will force him to use the Ravage. Catches onto the four, but of course he's far away from the rest of EG. Picard charges in, they'll be able to take Nightfall down. Now they'll look over towards Artsy. Of course, Artsy with the Aegis and the BKB will stand his ground here. Punch back at the Picard. Picard has to keep his distance. He's pretty much one hit away from dying. Arbet tries to catch with the tornado, but the BKB is still on in time to keep Picard safe. Underneath the tower, Sacred charges forward with the Rolling Thunder. They've taken out Crit as well. Jump forward from Matthew Thunder. Oh, They're ready to look for more. They've got the Frostbite to fly. Requiem from Arteezy trying to keep the space here to keep the rest of EG safe, but Thunder, they still continue to poke here underneath the tier 2 tower. Frostbite from Panda, another jump from Sacred in with a shield crash. Matthew looking for the wrap right on towards Arteezy. Arteezy turns towards Sacred. Sacred, he's still alive! He's finally still died! The last hit there from Arteezy takes him out for Picard. He's gonna go back in. He believes in the bash. Gets an immediate bash. and puts the blade active as well to hold back Arteezy, but now the buybacks are coming out. Crits in. Back into the fight. Boxy up to eight oh, okay. charges. Picard holding on to his 10. Do not want to get over baited into a tower, into the hook. Over, they're gonna round two. Into Picaz, nice but shot. Beautiful shards, my god. The hook Turn around. blocked by the range creep, and they do manage to get the first blood as Marcy falls first. And with the hook on cooldown, because it's gonna take a lot of damage. They're gonna go for it. The stick is gonna be used, but underneath the tower, they've got the creeps to be able to tank up. They get both the kills in this lane. Team Liquid, this is a huge victory, not just for those kills, but look how many creeps are dying without anybody to collect. Yeah, Matthew's gonna try and collect Xai a little bit, but no Tagro or the aggro to bank on. Trying to get body box. Oh, dodge is split. Awkward nice shard by Matthew. Picard's gonna come back in soon. Can he hit the hook? This is so Dead important. Again. Hit by the snowball. If he lands He's it, got it. Hit this. the mind games. Which way is he gonna go? Left or right? Around the tree. Picard. Oh, 